Hey, I'm Tom, and this is TRB Collectibles, where I go to yard sales, estate sales, and thrift stores. I buy items for a low price and then resell them on eBay for a decent profit. Today, I wanted to do something special that I haven't done on the channel yet. Today, I wanted to bring you to an antique store. Now, antique stores are a lot of fun, but can you find a lot to resell at them? Not really. Uh, an antique store is more of a place that resellers bring their wares, granted specifically antiques, to sell to everybody else. But usually the prices are a little bit better than what you're going to find online because it's more of a rarity. So people will price it a little bit higher online and people know that when you're coming in the store, you want it a little bit lower than what you're seeing online, which they competitively look at when pricing for in-store. So I not only love to traverse antique stores to get ideas for items that people are interested in buying, but I also have a passion for the 1964 New York World's Fair and all of its collectible memorabilia that they sold at the fair. And I love looking for it and truly that's what I like to collect. So I love going into antique stores in different places uh, that do sort of antiquey things to find and see if I can find any former souvenirs from the fair. But today, if there's anything that you collect or you enjoy and like going to antique stores, well, this is the video for you, and I appreciate you being here. So without further ado, welcome to the antique store. One of my favorite things in this whole store is its 1923 Model T right as you enter. Now granted, this car isn't for sale, but it's truly impressive as you walk through that front door. As we head to the heart of this antique store, one of my all-time favorite things about them are the small little knickknacks on the bookshelves, on the shelves, in the cabinets. Anywhere you look, you might find something, but never fear. You don't necessarily have to look too hard because every time you come back to an antique store, you'll always catch something you missed the time before. Most antique store owners don't actually make money off of selling antiques. They make money off of selling floor space, like different booths around their store, to different antique sellers, who pay a monthly due. They'll lay out their booths how they'd like and sell which wares that they choose to, in which they're competing against other booths in the store itself. So as the owner, you make the money off selling the floor space.
The item that I'm about to show you is a glass cover for a light fixture for a ceiling. The reason I'm familiar with these is because my grandparents had them in their home. This is one of my all-time favorite antiques. I've seen it in the store before, so it looks like it hasn't sold, but they do have a very classic register that you've seen in many films that make that giant cha-ching sound. A highly sought after collectible is Harley Davidson, and then you mix it with collections of cash registers, never did I know that they combined the two, that that cash register was going for $725. Just for fun, we're gonna shrink to the size of a doll. Watch your head. If you ever wanted to be sneaky in this store, there's no way you'd get away with it. Time is definitely ticking in this part of the store. Every tabletop clock imaginable is in this section that you could ever possibly want. But also, if you happen to be looking for a key, which winds a lot of these clocks, the seller has also provided you different keys, which is really cool in case you've lost yours. This store is chock full of so many different kinds of items that it could potentially be overwhelming. But here's my question to you. Have you found an item in this store that you would have taken home? Be sure to let me know down in the comments what you would have chosen.
if there is one category that I am very unfamiliar with, but I know does bring in a lot of money, it's glass. There's so many different types and kinds that I have no way of identifying, but eventually I know I will get there. If you are one that likes to resell glass, be sure to let me know down in the comments where to begin. Thank you so much for joining me on our trip to the antique store today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to click that like button. If you really enjoyed today's video and are looking forward to future videos, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you had any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. And also, don't forget to tell me what item you would have taken home from the store today. As always, my name's Tom, and this has been TRB Collectibles.